Hey everybody, welcome back to No German News. It's Adam22 here with your man AD. Let's get right into these stories. So first story, Lil Nas X has pissed off a lot of people over the weekend as he unveiled his new music video and collaboration with MSCHF. When Lil Nas X dropped Montero on Friday, he immediately became a trending topic on social media as various people were upset about his use of satanic imagery. The part that has people most offended is when Lil Nas X slides down a stripper pole from heaven to hell and gives the devil a lap dance. Despite all the hate and judgment, Lil Nas X has had time to clap back at all the hate he was receiving over the weekend, there is a mass shooting every week that our government does nothing to stop. He pointed out to one person, me sliding down a CGI pole is not what's destroying society. The sneaker collaboration with Mischief, which I now realize that's how it said, contained a Nike Air Max 97 with satanic imagery and a single drop of human blood in the midsole. Many people were upset about the blood and felt that Lil Nas X was trying to possess people, accusing him of worshiping Satan. Former NBA player Nick Young took to Twitter saying that he would no longer be allowing his kids to listen to Old Town Road. My kids will never play Old Town Road again. I'm still debating about wearing Nike after this. Come on, Nike. A drop of blood? For real? His tweet led to a response from Lil Nas X who suggested that his kids shouldn't be listening to his old music and instead should be streaming his new single. They shouldn't be playing Old Town Road anyway. We streaming Call Me By Your Name now. After their brief exchange, Swaggy P backtracked on his statement saying that he did not want any smoke with Lil Nas X. I don't want no smoke. I'ma say it first. I am sorry, Lil Nas X. I I hope y'all believe in that kind of thing. Forgiveness. These hackers keep getting me. They need to stop. <laughs> Later adding, look, y'all can beef with the devil all y'all want. I was hacked in the name of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Joyner Lucas was also among those who joined in on the criticism. I think the biggest problem for me is the fact that he don't understand Old Town Road is every kid's anthem. Children love him for that record. They tuned in and subscribed to his channels. So with no disclaimer, he just dropped some left field-ish and all our kids seen it. SMH. That little Nas X video is wild, but as an artist, he's doing everything he's supposed to do. Creating viral moments, making people talk, and creating content he already knew you was going to react to. It's a formula guaranteed to work. I doubt he actually worships the devil. Lil Nas X responded to Joyner Lucas saying, I literally sing about lean and adultery in Old Town Road. You decided to let your children listen. Blame yourself. Since the video's release, it has officially racked up over 33 million views on YouTube. The shoe that was being promoted went for $1,018 and it immediately sold out when dropped. Lil Nas X wrote on Twitter, y'all talk so much shit about these shoes just for them to sell out in literally less than one minute. LMAO, y'all going out sad. Lil Nas, like on one hand, I'm somebody who, you know, I grew up listening to all kinds of metal that was talking about the devil. Hey, and no all, cunt. all kind of, that's that's definitely one of them. All kinds of punk rock that just talked about all kinds of crazy stuff. And you know, I, I completely think people need the freedom to discuss these things and to have that kind of imagery in their video. I do think though, Joyner Lucas makes a very good point. And this is something that I keep seeing happen more and more in our society where now everybody can just make content and, and change their content by the day. Like I think about Jake Paul. Jake Paul was doing videos, vlogs that were basically aimed at 10 year olds. And then all of a sudden, a year goes by, whatever, he's doing thumbnails with porn stars in them and all kinds of super edgy content. And I do think that there is some kind of liability or, or some way that people need to be held accountable for this sort of thing because you really can't blame Joyner Lucas as a parent for showing his kid that video. Could you imagine showing that, that video to your kid and how shocked you would have been? Like, like you would have never expected anything like that coming from that video. And that video was, I think, way over the line for kids. Honestly, artistically, I think everybody deserves a freedom to express itself if they want to, but you have to take accountability. Like Joyner Lucas said, you know, kids know you from Old Town Road. That's like, you know, they got kids bops to this shit and you just come out of nowhere with this crazy twerking on the devil stuff. I don't want my kid watching that shit. Yeah, I mean, it's weird. Like, I feel like that video maybe deserves to be age restricted on YouTube, at least because of the fact that he does have such a massive child audience. Like, to me, if I had a crazy child audience like that, that would be the last thing that I would be thinking of putting in that video. I thought it was weird because he was he was twerking on the devil 
but he wasn't like twerking, twerking. Like it felt like they really held back. Like he I wasn't want to see none of that shit. He wasn't fully <laughs> making his booty pop in oh, the way that man, oh, I thought oh. Satan might like. I don't know. I was a little bit surprised <laughs> by that. But you know what's funny about doing this particular troll though is that you mostly are just trolling people who actually are going to be offended by imagery of like the devil or whatever. Like that to me, if you're that serious about religion or whatever, there's, there's just not a lot of people left who really, really care about that kind of thing. But when you do serve that content up to kids, I think that there is a, a real argument to be made here. I don't know if this is gonna be the thing that really draws attention to it because you might not be seeing this, but the conservative world, like all the people who basically used to talk about Trump 24 seven and now Trump is gone, so they have nothing to talk about. Lil Nas X is looking like their target. I mean, they were going in on WAP for a while, but now it's really starting to look like Lil Nas X is their guy that they're going to be really just locked in on for the for however long, and it's going to be kind of fascinating. I hope he's just trolling, man. You hope he's not a, a Satan worshiper? Nobody worships the devil. Like, it's just a crazy... It's like the kind of thing that people are worried about, but nobody actually does it. Like, when have you ever heard about someone worshiping the devil do in I your give adult a, life? Do I give a fuck what he does? No. He can twerk and do all the shit that he wants to in his spare time. It's just... Like you said, age restrict that YouTube and stuff. You know what I mean? Because the kids don't need to be seeing that. But we all know that YouTube is in bed with the labels and the devil. They're not age restricting <laughs> that video. It's not happening. <laughs> Next story. Annalie Chopper was arrested and booked in downtown Broward County Jail in downtown Fort Lauderdale on Sunday, where he currently remains beyond bars. According to the reports, Chopper is being hit with charges for burglary of an unoccupied structure, carrying a concealed firearm, possession of cannabis of 20 grams or less, and the possession of a generic version of Xanax called Alphazolam, I must assume. His bond is currently listed at $4,500. The affidavit explains Chopper told Davy police he and his two friends, Zyron Matlock and Tony Coleman, who were also arrested, were attempting to retrieve a watch from a vehicle at a tow yard. According to the report, the car Chopper was looking for was reportedly taken during a separate and unrelated incident and was unfortunately located in a different tow yard. The manager of the lot signed the affidavit in favor of the prosecution. The police reports during a tow inventory of the vehicle, a Glock 27 with an extended magazine and an AK-47 Draco pistol were clearly visible in the back seat of the Ford Expedition. The firearms are readily accessible to Bryson, Matlock, and Tony Coleman, who were all seated in the Ford Expedition rear seat. The firearms were fully loaded with a round in the chamber, the affidavit adds that none of the three men had a valid concealed carry weapon permit or were of age 21. This story wouldn't seem that interesting, this NLE Chopper situation, if it wasn't for the fact that he went through this woke transformation. Like the, the NLE Chopper that came out initially was supposed to be carrying Dracos, was supposed to be popping Zans. That's what he was telling us in his first songs. When you listen to Chopper, uh, Shot of Flow, he's telling you, I'm doing drugs. I'm carrying Dracos, et cetera, et cetera. Now he's breaking into a tow yard to retrieve a watch that was left in a car, which I guess I can't blame him because if it's an expensive watch and it was located in a car and the car got towed, yeah, you're gonna wanna go get that. Maybe don't have a Draco fully visible in the back seat and also probably don't have Xanax in your pocket. But keep in mind, everything that NLE Chapa has been telling us about how his life has changed, he's been telling us. I don't do drugs anymore. I don't even smoke weed anymore. I don't carry guns anymore. I don't break into tow yards to retrieve jewelry anymore. He hasn't actually said that, but I felt like that was probably implied. I'm wondering, is this whole woke transformation just for show? Since he's running around with benzos in his pocket, toting Dracos. Thoughts? No, I, I think he's serious about that. And I, I would have got my watch too. You feel me? Somebody in the tow yard, especially if it's a special watch, somebody in the tow yard probably would have snatched that motherfucker. And yeah, I would have took that motherfucker too. Well, yeah, I mean, there's one thing to break into the tow yard. You can be woke and still break into the tow yard. It's fine if you just had to get the watch. But and and even the Draco, because it's like you might renounce guns in your songs and make it clear that you don't carry guns or you don't support people carrying guns, et cetera, et cetera. That's totally fine. Having the Xanax in your pocket is extra iffy. Because like, you know, that 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 very much you're, you're selling CMOS gel on your on your website. And then you pop in Zans and toting the Draco. I mean, I, it's going to be kind of hard for him to explain this. But also, let's just make it clear that, like, these charges don't seem that different from the NBA Youngboy charges of, like, you know, a bunch of people carrying guns that weren't legally allowed to carry guns. I'm just wondering, are, are we going to have Emily Chapa going in for years and years? Because they're talking about Youngboy about to do seven see, years. But see, this is different because... 
Miami and L.A. are two different places with different gun laws and stuff. You get caught with a Draco in Miami, it's not as bad. That's where this happened, Miami? Well, Broward County. Bro- oh, you're right. Yeah. But, but if nobody has permits for the gun, it I doesn't matter. I don't know. It's, 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 I an open, it's not going to be as bad. It's an open carry state. They're very lenient when it comes to gun laws. Los Angeles and New York don't fucking play when it comes down to that shit. Interesting. Well, either way, if you are going to do anything illegal, if you're going to break into a tow yard, etc., maybe take all the contraband that you are carrying that you're not going to need for this mission and just leave it at home. And that way you won't have to worry about such a thing. I agree. YouTube, do us a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back real, real soon. Appreciate you.